guys thanks so much for stopping by my channel my name is Fatima and on this channel we talk about faith soul and beauty and in today's video I'm actually going to be talking to you about being in a season of loneliness so recently I started thinking about this because I was scrolling through Instagram and I realized that there was a few people that were liking my photos that I actually had not you know seen from or heard from in a while and it's because I'm actually not engaging with them on social media like I don't I'm not following them on social media or um I just kind of distance myself I don't really see them that much and not super super close friends but I would just say like associates because I don't have a lot of really really close friends but people that I would just you know hang out with every once in a while we all have mutual friends we all go to similar events and now it's just like it feels like we're in completely different worlds and I can never imagine myself hanging out with some of the same groups of people and that is in no way to come across as like shade or as I, as if like I'm better than someone that's not what I'm saying at all but what I'm saying is that what I learned is that sometimes Times God is going to place you in a season of loneliness where people that you thought were your friends, people that you thought you were cool with, people that you once had so much in common with, suddenly you're going to start to realize that you just aren't vibing the way that you used to. And at first you may even be confused, you may be upset with God, you may wonder like why am I suddenly losing all of my friends? It's like the more I get invested in God, the less that I want to go out and the less that I want to hang out with a certain group of people. And that comes when the process of sanctification is happening over your life, especially if that group of people that you were hanging out with or that particular person that you were hanging out with was not focused on the same things that you were focused on. If you're on this path of building your faith and finding your purpose and this person or these group of people that you're hanging out with have no interest in that. They just want to smoke, they just want to drink, have sex, go out to parties, do what they want to do with their time and with their body. But you're focused on something completely different. At times, God will actually come in and shift your spirit and and have you feeling as though you have nothing in common with these people anymore. And it's going to start to create this distance. And I want to encourage anyone that may feel that happening to them, whether it's a relationship or a friendship, to know that that is totally okay. And that is a part of the process. That is a part of the process of growing in your faith and finding your purpose is shedding in order to fully fully bloom you have to shed sometimes have you ever have you guys ever noticed dandelions like i'm sure you've seen them before but dandelions actually go through two different stages right i'm sure there's multiple stages but there's two stages that are like very visible to us and it's one stage where you see that it's an actual flower it's a yellow flower and i'll show i put a picture on the screen i was <laughs> I was actually walking down the street the other day and I was so amazed by this because I like saw it in the in-between stage. Um, but basically there's a stage where it's the yellow flower. It's just a normal flower. And then after some time that flower dies and it literally closes up. It closes up and goes back to just this little small in enclosed encapsulation almost. And then it opens back up again. And when it opens up, it's the furry little ball where you can like blow it and it flies everywhere. And those are seeds. And that happens because that process happens because when it opens back up and the wind comes and blows it, now those seeds are being planted and they're creating more flowers. And you have to almost think of your life in that way. You have to think of this season as that. Like you may be in that season where you feel like you're just closed up. Like you feel like you can't. Like God is putting you in this season where you have to spend so much time by yourself and you're involved with so many things, whether it be ministry or Bible study or whatever. But you just feel like you're secluded from the world. Like I felt that way before where I just had this like this. I feel like it was like a year, actually, about a year where I just had this moment of loneliness. Like I was living alone. My friends were in a different city and it was just like. I was alone most of the time and I spent so much time reading and studying and it wasn't just the Bible at that time it was everything because I felt lost I was searching for answers and I was reading everything I was reading the Bible I was reading about Buddhism I was reading about Islam I was reading everything and during that time I felt like I was so spiritually enclosed I was encapsulated but 
looking over that season now I can see that it's fully opened and now all of those seeds that I were plant that I was planting from all of the reading that I was doing from all of the praying the meditating the crying all of that that I was doing it's now blossomed into this beautiful 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 magnificent flower that is planting seeds all over seeds through these YouTube videos seeds through my social media pages where my purpose feels so clear now where I remember a time where it felt so foggy I remember a time where life felt so foggy everything felt so unclear and uncertain and to be at this point now makes me realize that that encapsulated period where I was tucked away in hiding and I felt so secluded from everyone was worth it. It was worth it. Because just like that dandelion when those seeds flout, sp spread out, new flowers are blooming. New flowers are blooming. So I want to encourage anyone that may be in that season of feeling alone, feeling lost, feeling like you are all alone and it's just you and God right now. I want to encourage you and remind you that it's a part of the process. It's a part of the process. Even if you go back and study David and you think about when he was out in the field as a shepherd boy. At that season of solitude, there's several seasons of solitude that we're going to experience in our life. But we have to remember that it's coming from a place of growth. Even though you can't see it right now, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you that you'll be able to look back at this season that feels painful and you'll realize that it's a season of growth. So I want to encourage you in this moment, wherever you are, and I actually want to pray. I feel it so strongly to pray for you guys right now. And this was so not the intention of this video. This is crazy. Like my notes were like nothing about this, but um, I want to pray for anyone that may be feeling that, that way because I know that it can be tough, but I want to encourage you in this season. So dear Heavenly Father, I just ask that Right now, whomever it is that I'm talking to that is watching this video that feels so lonely, feels so confused, feels so lost, feel like they're seeking you and yet all you're doing is pushing them further and further away from everything that they know. God, I ask that you just comfort them right now. I ask that you just embrace them and remind them that this is a season of growth. Remind them that this is a season of preparation. Remind them that once their flower opens and blossoms they are going to be able to plant so many little seeds that you are instilling in them right now so i just ask that you give them strength in this moment I ask that you give them courage in this moment I ask that you give them the the will and the desire to focus on you in this time even though it's hard even though they may want to distract themselves with drugs or with with drinking or with sex or with men that they know they have no business being with god i just ask that in this time that you allow their hearts to be open Open to you so that they can use this as a space to connect with you and use this time as a chance to connect with you God and I know that it's tough I know that it's tough but I ask that you just comfort my sister right now I ask that you just comfort her in your grace and your mercy and you just encourage her and allow her to trust you in a deeper way Lord in your name we pray amen thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that it was a blessing to you and I will see you in the next one bye